Hi, I'm Nathan from the ebook reader blog. For this video, I've got all the current Kobo e-readers lined up here so you can kind of get an idea of the size difference between each model. So from left to right, the Kobo Ellipsa, it's got the 10.3 inch ink screen. The Kobo Sage has an eight inch screen. The Kobo Libra 2 has a seven inch screen and the Kobo Clara 2E has the six inch screen. So they also sell the Kobo Niet has the same six inch screen size wise. They're pretty much the same. It just has lower resolutions and less features than the Clara 2E, but size wise, this is a look at how they all stack up. For reference, here's a, you know, average size paperback. So I've got the same ebook loaded up on all of these. I tried to match the font size. I'm gonna increase the font size a little bit here so you can kind of get a different idea. So obviously with the bigger screens, a little bit better suited for larger font sizes. If you have uh, vision problems or anything like that, you wanna use the larger font sizes, definitely a benefit with the larger screen. So the Kobo Ellipsa and the Kobo Sage, they both support stylus input as well for the note-taking aspects. Here's a quick look at the library layout and list views. You can see the six, seven, and eight inch models. They all display the same number of titles. It just scales it up a bit with the larger screen and then the 10 inch model displays more. So of course, some types of content benefit from the larger screen more than others. So like if you plan on reading comics or manga, then the larger screen is definitely gonna work a little bit better for that type of stuff. Although it kind of depends from one to the next. This one has large text balloons, so it's not too bad on the smaller screen, but uh, PDFs, you know, stuff like that definitely uh, displays a lot better on the larger screen. So here's a quick look at how they compare thickness wise. The Sage is a little bit thinner than the Libra and they have that taper and then the Clara and the Nia, they don't have a taper, they're a little bit thicker. Uh, and then the um, Ellipsa also has a little bit of a taper, but you know, thickness wise, not a huge difference between them. All right, so that's been a quick look at how the Kobo e-readers compare uh, size wise. Check out the ebook reader blog for full reviews of each of these devices, uh, along with some comparison reviews with Kindles and other devices as well. So thank you guys for watching, bye.